what you described again was not your review process. You said it was, but it was like your study process. Your study process is basically put in a lot of hours. And that's what a lot of people do. That's what I did as well. I mean, there's 89 numbered exams, a bunch that are unnumbered. There's 500 page LSAT books. There's plenty that you could do. There's no shortage of questions to complete or drills to complete or theory to read. But the review process is a really, in my view, some of the most grueling work because it also involves taking the time to figure out what to do and then being very deliberate about sticking with one problem, one sentence, one word, figuring out exactly what led you astray, tempting wrong answers, unappealing right answers, confusing stimulus, looking at all of that and staying there, staying there after you get something wrong or have difficulty with it. And it's not fun. It can involve writing things out. It could involve talking with a study buddy or a coach or a tutor. It takes a lot of work and it means you can't do as many problems. And so that feeling of success, the positive reinforcement, the gamification of like checking one off, checking off the next one, checking off the next one, that's going to go a lot more slowly. So we have to build in a different step-by-step process for you where you could still feel the momentum, even though you're doing fewer problems. Have you seen any of my videos covering the Socratic review method? That's what I'm talking about here. And that's what I do with my students as well. So taking the time to slow down, really dig into it. It means we can't do as many problems. You won't need to cover all 89 exams or more, but we'll focus on whatever you need. The three to five hardest problems, that's what you send me. Thanks for tuning into the show. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already to be notified of new episodes as I release them. And feel free to reach out if you need anything at all as you move forward with your prep. I'm happy to help however I can. In the meantime, I wish you all the best and take care.